Good morning, everyone. Newborn Investor here, and welcome back to another live day trading video. Hopefully, we get some great opportunities today as we're all here to make some money. But before we get into today's video, if you really appreciate what I do here, show me some support by hitting the like and subscribe button. It means a lot. That being said, let's get straight into today's action. Pre market, not looking good. Triple Q, Spy, and Tesla all gapping down. CPI data is out and looks like inflation has risen another 0.4%. I think today would be another sell-off day, but we could get some initial pops and then the markets may continue to fade. On SPY, I have identified some key support levels from the weekly chart. I do have one support level around the 345 area and the second support around 333 area. So I'll be watching these two levels. At market open, if SPY wants to give a weak bounce with an upper wick, I'll be looking to short, anticipating a further sell-off to around those two support areas. Excited going into market open? We do have around 8 minutes to market open, so I'll go ahead and pause for now and I'll talk to you guys at market open. Market is open. Watching SPY. Eleven thirty, I got in. Watching carefully. Got one out. Out for now. Clearly not showing the strength to move higher. Getting in, anticipating an E may fail. Taking one out at nine forty. Watching very carefully. Yep. Break the current low for me, please.
out for now. Five thirty-four dollars in seven minutes. I'll take it. The setup I traded here was EMA fail. I was expecting a bigger flush with volume, and you could see here only one million shares traded. Watching spy very carefully. In the first five minutes, around twelve million shares traded. Second five minutes, so far only one point seven. Spy bouncing. Let's see how this Feynman candle wants to close. Over three minutes for this candle to close. Giving it some time. Choppiness continues. Spy doesn't want to move higher or lower. As of now, no setups, so I'll keep waiting. If you look at these three candles, SPY has made higher lows, signaling strength. On this candle, low was 348.53, 348.61, and 348.90. All higher lows, retesting this area of resistance now, 350. I was expecting a much bigger price action but looks like things have slowed already. See how SPY is squeezing the shots out and look at the option premium that I traded. I traded the same contract around $10 and $8 and now it's at $4. That's why it is very important to take profits when you have it. I was expecting a bigger flush. It never happened. And now the market is moving against me. No reason to go short now. Super strong. But compared to other days, we don't have enough volume. So it could anytime reverse. I'll wait for a few minutes to see whether spike could reverse. Else, I think I'll settle for my $500 gains. Look at Tesla. Very choppy. Gap down. Upper wick. Lower wick. But as you could see here, Tesla made higher lows, signaling bullish trend. And if that trend reverses, I think we may get some opportunities. But these days, I like to trade SPX over Tesla. So I've been waiting for a while now. No setups for me. The markets are staying strong. And I think I may have to call the day off. 7 minutes of actual trading, 23 minutes of waiting, making $535. I have no reasons to complain. As I always say, my goal here is not to hit home runs, but to make consistent basics and live another day to trade. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Until then, stay safe and thanks for watching. Bye.